So I'm going to show you what I'm doing for my back to school night. So the first thing I did was go to slides go and I searched for a template and this is the one that I found that I liked. So I click on download and then because I'm putting it into Google slides, it asked me to make a copy. So here's my copy. So I would go ahead and update this template to what I need for back to school night, which for us is our name, our class rules, how parents can get a hold of us, how we grade information like that. And then I'm going to add a transition. So once I'm happy with the way my slides are set up, I've added my transition, I'm going to click on Slideshow. So Slideshow is where I'm going to set up how to loop it and how long it should stay on each slide. So I teach the same thing to all my classes, so mine is going to be the exact same. So instead of having to stand at my computer or stand near my board where I can touch it to switch slides each time, I'm just going to have this playing in the background so parents that want to write things down can write it down. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm going to pick autoplay. And then um, for back to school night, I'm going to use about 30 seconds. That seems to be a good amount. Um, but for this, I'm just going to leave it on two seconds. And then the second thing I'm going to do is a loop. And that way, when it gets to the end, it starts over. So if a parent misses something in the beginning, they'll see the slide again. So once you have this set up, you just click play and it will start playing. Um, so this is really great for back to school night. This is also really great for your first day of class. If you know you're going to be going over your rules, your supplies, the same information with every single class, um, you could always just set this to loop. Um, and so this is how you can loop your presentation and you can set your time. If in the middle you realize that this is too fast or maybe it's too slow, you can always click on the three dots, autoplay, and you can change it and it will adjust. So if I switched it to every second, it's going to go faster. I can also pause it. So if I need to pause here for some reason, I can go ahead and pause it. It's paused right now. You can see it's not changing slides. So then if I wanted to start it up again, I could just go back and hit play and it would start playing again. So this is a great way, especially for back to school night, where you can just have information looping behind you as you talk and get to know your families.